the students to a new week. In this week, we will uh, continue talking in chapter 18, which is about molecular evolution and how the evolution of uh, animals during a period of years uh, can be evolved from one type to another. Also, uh, with the same common ancestor, how the animals will be transferred in their genetic information, having an uh, environmental effect that can affect their phenotype or the physical external uh, look uh, uh, of the in animals in compared to the uh, uh, ancestor, which is the old version of the same animal. In this week, we will talk about uh, uh, the new genes that can uh, come from and identify from where we can find these new genes, where do they come from, how do they evolve from one generation to another. Explain how molecular clock works, which means how molecular biology, the genes from insides affect from uh, affecting the gene expression from one generation to another. Also, to describe how Hox genes, now we need to remember Hox genes, that this one, the one that we talked earlier this week or last week about, which is the genes that can evolve from a sim simple organism with years that can evolve using uh, um, a, a differentiated characteristic can be found, which is from uh, hands to, uh, to the legs to the evolve of the spinal cord between animals and uh, how this Hox genes might be involved in the ev uh, evolutionary change, meaning that this genes has the effect of uh, changing the characteristic or the uh, phenotype of these organisms or animals, um, evolving uh, needed like hundreds or thousands of years from the same ancestor. So we need to make sure that we are talking about the same scientific terminology, Hox genes, um, uh, common ancestor, ancient history, um, evolving from years years and years so these these words we need to put it together now when we talk about genes we need to talk about how do they duplicate duplicating mean that having the same original genes from the same ancestor then we will have one we will uh, we then they will be duplicate and having two copies one copy will be the same exact as the original the other one that will continue with a small uh, mutation this mutation causes a new generation to evolve and function differently now, when we talk also about this duplication, and especially in the new genes that evolve with a mutation, we need to make sure that the chromosomes are not static, meaning that the break and reconnection of them, the loose bites and pieces are acquired in a sequences of events. These events will determine the new generation, how do they look like. Usually, a cell does not usually create new uh, proteins from scratch. Yani it has to have come from a pre-existing. This one, what we talked about in uh, the Hox genes, and we talked about how do they evolve from one part to another. Uh, these studies, studies like focus on the relationship between the evolutions and the development within mutations. Also, uh, same genes within the years when we talk about Hox genes and evolution, that only a slightly small change in the Hox genes actively, uh, actively during the embryological stages or the embryological development mean while they are an, in the an, an, uh, embryonic state and they produce a larger change in the adult animal. Here we can see the mutation in one of the genes and how do they can, one single original gene can cause three different species coming from estimated the one of the original. When we're talking about this, we're talking about molecular clocks that use mutation that rates the estimate time that two species have been evolved at the same time. Like estimation, that's Sure. Well, uh, uh, neutral mutation or uh, ticks are more different between DNA sequences of two species, indicates more time elapsed since they share the same common ancestor.